Okay guys, we're in my kitchen tonight because I'm going to show you a couple simple things to do when you're cleaning your cast iron pans. Um, if you're out cooking, or if you're out camping, cooking, whatever, cast iron is the way to go. It's forgiving, it'll handle the heat, and it's so simple to clean up it's not even funny. Now, don't get me wrong, if you're a germaphobe, go get yourself some non-stick pan, put it in your dishwasher, wash it on your, you know, the traditional way while you're out camping, whatever you want to do. But uh, for the rest of us who are lazy and want to make it simple, easy, and run nearly non-stick cast iron, here's how you do it. I got two pans I'm going to show you how to clean. I clean them in my pan depending on how dirty they are. We'll start with the first one. See, you guys see how it's kind of fairly, you know, it's been used, but it's fairly clean. Show you how you clean this. It's real simple. So, take your paper towel, fold it up a little bit, take your cast iron, take a little view of this. It's clean. That's so all you do. Leave this nice, beautiful film of grease right in there. Way when you go to use it again, you got no problems whatsoever. It's already ready to go. It's already seasoned. You're good to go. Now, oops. If you, however, have a pan like this. Where you got a lot of grease and grime and stuff like that. That's going to take a while to clean that up. So what you do is you take it over to your sink, you wash it out. So we got our pan here. Turn on the nice warm water. Get it a little warm. We're going to use this nice little chain mail here, guys. Scrub it out. Of course, you want to use chain mail instead of steel wool. Or uh, you can use a scrubber like this, but it, you know, it kind of ruins those. You can use a sponge, but it'll ruin that. This, however, got some nice warm water going on. Take your chain mail. Kind of scrub it a little bit. Dump that out. Do it again. Make sure you get all that seasoning and junk out of there. Got a little bit in here. I actually have to scrub it a little bit. And as you can see, maybe there you go, nice and clean. This right here, it's a little greasy. Take your nice hot water, let the warm water just kind of rinse all that gunk off of there. Stick it in a corner, you're good to go. Now, the best option, now that it's all wet, take a paper towel. Dry it out a little bit. 
And depending on how clean you got it and how well you've seasoned it, this one's pretty well seasoned. You see it's still pretty shiny. So I can put it away. Now if it was a newer pan where I hadn't used where you hadn't used it a lot, you want to put it on your stove and uh, warm it up. Put a little oil in there. Get the oil just kind of warm and then wipe it down, put it away. So that's how simple cast iron is. Whether you're cooking it on a grill, you're using a camp stove, or you're cooking at home on a glass top, you guys saw I have a glass top stove, you can use cast iron on a glass top stove, it won't kill anything, won't hurt anything, don't drop it from five feet above it and expect it not to break, but otherwise you're good to go. And uh, that's how simple cast iron is and why I love it. And it's, like I said, perfect for camping, perfect for using at home, and uh, the most simplest, easiest cleanup ever. You guys have a great night. Visit the blog over at myknowledgeguy.com. Check us out. we got plenty of videos on camping, guns, cars. Uh, of course, you already know we got a YouTube channel. We also have a uh, group on Facebook, myknowledgeguy.com group. Check us out. And uh, y'all have a good evening.